Oh, I can't type anymore. Hang on. We have to do a catch real quick. So let's just type in catch with those things there. So choice. So if choice is not greater than menu text range. I'm telling you, this thing hates me. There are no other errors. What the heck? So, if choice is not greater than what is going on with choice <laughs> choice is in a bool though this thing is really crazy menu text range This thing thinks I'm thinking, or I'm talking about something else. Type int to bool. I know you can't. That's why I typed this in. <laughs> oh, you can't do is greater than, or is not greater than. My bad. Uh, you should be able to. Whatever. As long as it's less than or equal to menu text range then we can say is correct equals true <coughs> but <coughs> oh wait hang on so as long as choice is less than and choice is greater than zero then we can say is correct is true. So we do want to make choice, not choice, but no, I think we want to keep it like this for right now. So we want to make is correct equals true. <coughs> then we want to Pass on so main menu user choice. Um, we want to pass on let's return this here. So we want to return an integer here. Let's set a new one, or let's keep choice as choice. So now we want to set choice equals choice minus one. Now the reason I'm doing this is because whenever you enter a number, so they have options one through three. Well, the index array of choice here is going to be zero to two. So we subtract one so that we can get the correct number. And then we want to go, we need a string called, let's call it menu choice. So we want to pass back a string. And I'll show you why here in a little while. And now we want to call menu choice is going to equal Where to go? I already forgot what it's called. Main menu. Main menu. Bracket. Choice. <coughs> and what that'll do is that will save the um, the string item from choice. 
Now we need to do an else. So if it's anything else, we need to do a console.write error your number was not one of the choices press uh, and then on a new line so we'll just go forward slash n press enter to continue and then We'll do a console dot read key true, and then then we'll do something else after this. So here we need to go ahead and add in a quick method way down here. This is going to be a static void, and I'm going to call this clear. And I'm just going to type in console.clear. So now we type in clear. And now what it'll do is it'll clear the console every time this happens. Okay, so we have this piece. Catch will be if they do not enter a number. So this will be a console.write error you did not enter a valid number a new line same thing press enter to continue console.read key and we can completely add a new class of exceptions later clear <coughs> and then below the while loop we want to return menu choice <coughs> and up here we need menu choice to equal nothing so that it doesn't throw an error. So this menu, this one, does a lot of fabulous stuff, right? Yes, I just used the word fabulous. Get over it. So this one, um, see it asks you to enter your choice then it checks all exceptions if exception uh, let's reword that if calls exception loops back around and asks again so actually our loop shouldn't be here let's make choice equal zero so our loop shouldn't even be here our loop should be where we call this which would be I believe it's up here print to menu no print to menu should be called in here inside of here so so yeah we're good we're good we can we can print main menu in here And the print menu will call get main menu text. 
and then inside the while loop we will print main menu and actually the get main menu text only needs to be called once so that'll be called inside the main menu choices <clears throat> and that's that for that part so the next part we need is for the main menu to actually do something and this is all about the menu so we need this we need the menu to send menu choice or we can just go ahead and do the menu choice down here I guess because this is the only time main menu will ever be called so yeah let's not return a string let's void that out and then down here we're gonna call a method called what do you think um, go to no let's go ahead and return nothing because this is actually going to be called somewhere else so yeah return menu choice okay so this is set up pretty good so now what we need to do is we need to set up one more method and all this does is clears the console so we need to call one more method which will be static string make the menu do something I'm not sure what to call this one um, let's call it go to Min main let's see go to menu user choice these are really bad um, <laughs> uh, method names so I do apologize and this shouldn't be a string that should be a void <coughs> and we will basically just call a string main menu user choice sorry um, I meant string choice equals now now what we have to do is we have to send it to one of them so I think instead of sending the string choice I think it would be better to send the integer No, uh, yeah, I think it'd be better to send the integer because then we can depict the object from this up here because we want to make it where all we have to do is come in here and change the menu items we just if we add something here that's all we want to change so I'm trying to think of exactly how to do this I mean we can't call a method you know or we can't call a, a class zero one and you want to stay away from spaces
we could call a menu game could do that then call one options and then exit so yeah let's do that let's we'll take off this part and just put S that away strings will know where we're going so let's just set up the exit thing right now and I think we'll call it that just for right now so now what we have to do is do a switch case with choice and we're just gonna do a case one and we're gonna put in a comment called um, do something and break case two do something and break and then we're gonna do a actually we should put I'm gonna put these directly in order so case zero do something alright so I already messed up I'm sure somebody caught that because you can't have a zero because this is a string not this here so this will be games right it is games not game yep and then number one or no this will be exit this will be games and this will be options and we we're gonna put a default in here <coughs> but only because we don't need it we might add it in later but now to exit I'm pretty sure all we have to do is call in console dot now we can't do exit We can't do this dot exit either. I forgot how to exit the console. I always thought it was exit. Let's try threading. If that's right, then we'll add it in. Nope. Hmm. And I know there's no quit. Let's see what using statements we have. We're actually supposed to use generic collections for an array. Um, well. I know what we can do. Since we're calling this first, we can do a bool. Do a bool is play equals true. Right? Is that what we're calling back here? Is play equals true. 
and then inside exit we can do is play equals false and then down below the switch we can return is play then inside start right here since it's a while loop we can say is play equals menus dot go to menu so menus dot oh yeah these aren't public are they like I said we were gonna do And we can start minimizing these as we go. All right. Let's go back to start and go menus dot main menu user choice. And I chose the wrong one. There we go. Perfect. <clears throat> so, and then all I'm going to do here is do a. I'll do a menus. Dot, let's do a console dot clear. A console dot write. Thank you for playing. Press enter to exit. console.read key true all right let's go check this out real quick so if I hit start okay we got an error unhandled exception null Take off static, which means that that can't work. And that worked. So there's 10. So we're not going to use this here. And actually, the way we'll do it is we will do a do a string or a list of strings. So we're back on the menu. We're going to do a list of strings called main menu. Then, I'm going to call this main menu list for a reason. Then I'm going to take these, delete the stuff in there, and go dot add. And then I can just copy this a couple times. And then just copy these. And then below this, I forgot to add in list. Then below these, I can do a string array. Or actually, up here, I can do a public static string array. 
called main menu. I think this will work. Then I can do a for int i. No, let's not do a for. Let's do a for each string str in main menu list. Let's add an integer below these. Let's do an int uh, mml length or count equals main menu list dot count um no I take that back let's make this equal to zero then what I can do is I can say main menu Uh, square bracket mml count equals str and then I can do mml count plus plus let's try that one no um, object reference not set to an instance of an object Or I can go main menu equals main menu list dot to array. Perfect. So the only options I made was the only option that I changed was I made the main menu global variable public <clears throat> then I came down and I went into the get main menu I turned it into a list added the objects to the list and then I took main menu and made it equal to main menu list dot to array and that wrapped it up it actually worked pretty good And then down here, under main menu user choices, where it prints the main menu, I'm going to do a console.writeline. And that'll add a space. There we go. And if I press 3, Thank you for playing. Press enter to exit. All right. So I think that sums it up. We've gotten, well, I can go ahead and get rid of, uh, no, I leave options. So we set up three classes, but we only actually set up the menus class, which is for the main menu. So let's go ahead and change menus to main menu and that should do it let's run it one more time okay we got an error Oh, it's at the very beginning. Main menu. Let's do this one more time, and we're good to go. Let's make sure our 
catches work so if I press F <coughs> it does not clear the console but it does afterwards error you did not enter a valid number press enter to continue let's enter number four error your number was not one of the choices press enter to continue three and there we are we have it so I really hope everybody took something away from this if not I hope you enjoyed it I mean I made a lot of mistakes but hope you all understand it and if you're following along I hope everything works good um, if you have any questions comments or concerns leave them in the comments below and I will see you in the next video where we will start to add in the probably the first game yeah I think we'll do the first game um, I'm thinking something along the lines of maybe not hangman but like a cleaner version of hangman so as always if you haven't uh, subscribed go ahead and do that if you want to see more and I will see you in the next video